hello everyone welcome to my channel um, today I will be doing a very short video it's actually um, to answer a viewers um, a subscribers query it's about the schedule in the Revit lighting um, analysis so um, the person who commented had some issues with finding a scheduled uh, lighting uh, results from the Revit so I'm going to show um, how to do that and what's the difference between different versions so uh, they have a 2020 version of Revit so I have here 2019 and I have 2021 I don't have 20, 2020 but um, I will show you that they are pretty much the same. Uh, if you can see here 2021, uh, when I go to analyze tab, I have uh, lighting and there are other um, advanced options, which um, is not about this video right now. So we have energy or lighting over here. Uh, they are pretty much the same. If I, um, if I click on this, Um, it's pretty much opened the same way than 2019 if you see I have already done some results over here so first let me show you 2021 um, I have already done before and it's a very big uh, project over here uh, compared to the one which I showed in my previous video so I have done lead and I have done daylight autonomy. So let's open daylight autonomy here. I will click on this result, which is the, the most recent one. And I will say go. And what it will do is they will give me this window where there is just like a summary of the SDA results. What I usually do is uh, since it cannot be saved by any right click, I usually just take a screenshot of this and I keep it for my later review or anything. So I, I just take a screenshot of this window over here. However, if we need a further results, we just say OK and then there is this uh, there is one way where we can view our result uh, this is the legend over here and how we can do is we can go to our project browser which is over here on my left side uh, and we can just click on the plan which we want and we get the results on the plan but as you can see there are no um, specific um, values given in the plan so what we can do is in the same project browser label project browser we go down we scroll down here you, you can see schedules schedules and quantities so here the plus and I just um, open the drop down list if we can just come here if you see here we can see all these we can edit our the filters show sorting and grouping and when we open the schedule we will get something like this so if you can see here these are the levels which I have um, done my results on the level one and these are the room room numbers it, the room numbers is specific to your project where you have uh, placed rooms the area include the daylight and there is these percentages this is the SDA percentage um, the point means how many lead point can this room get so if we can see here SDA is 99% that means according to the lead um, requirement and standards this room can get three points according to the lead um, here the AAC is 26% and as we know um, ASE should always be less than 20% it's written over here this is also a lead standard and that means it is not passed it will say you know it did not pass 
and this is SDA and AACE together that means rooms that pass both AAC and SDA and if you can see here uh, there are very less rooms which is passing both SDA and AAC standards uh, over here if you see my room number 16 has two points and you can also edit them um, yeah and that's pretty much it um, this is the schedules you get in order to take it or export it what we can do is we can go to the file here we can go to export uh, just scroll down a bit uh, reports and schedule and the, it comes as a text and this text is very easily readable by Microsoft Excel uh, you can you just have to copy the text and uh, paste it in the Excel sheet now uh, this is about Autodesk Revit 2021 how about the 2019 so let me show you here I have this is my 2019 it's exactly the same than that one um, I already have the inside um, the study over here and the room schedule here uh, this is the window schedule actually I created this schedule uh, you can create schedules from this analysis tab or analyze tab and you see here this is basically the concept of schedules you can do anything from here uh, these are the manual ones and insight uh, creates automatically this kind of schedule and it's a room schedule uh, just remember to make rooms in your uh, project that in that way the scheduling will be much easier so I have put rooms in my project for all the levels so if I click here and again I get the same thing for this project over here and um, here my project browser is here it's just up and down um, in the in in any case if you just lose your project browser you can come to view uh, you can go over here to user interface and just stick on um, project browser and it will appear over here so it's the same way over here so it, as you can see 2019 and 2021 doesn't have much of a difference it's just a difference of um, the tab for insight where this is more conventional and over here in the new versions of Revit we have a lot of stuff uh, over here and uh, yeah that's it um, I hope that it is um, it, it helps and it solves your problem if there is any future queries uh, feel free to message me comment or email me and see you next time bye